Sigourney, first of all, I have to welcome you to Texas. Thank it's you. very nice having you here. I have never seen or heard the name Sigourney. Oh, what's the origin of the name? Um, you mean the real origin of the name? Well, or? I mean, is it is it uh, an ethnic name or, you know? I don't know. I think it it's Slavic. I know there's a Slavic root that's pronounced, um, it's often pronounced Sigourney, and there's a Slavic root called Zigoiner, which means gypsy, like the Noel Coward song, Zigoiner. But um, I, uh, it's not a family name, so I have no, I don't have any specific background on it. Do you have a middle name to go with Sigourney? Well, my real name is Susan Alexandra Weaver, and Sigourney was a name that I, I started using when I was 14, really as sort of a lark, just one of those things you decide to do when I was at an all-girls school, and I, everyone called everyone by their last names, and I got tired of being called Weaver, so I just chose it out of an F. Scott Fitzgerald novel, and I never dreamed that it would stick, and yet it did. And it's funny because both my parents have strange names and they don't use them. They, they chose names too, so it's sort of a family tradition. Yes, your father, we all know, yes. Sylvester so, Pat Weaver. Yes, so Pat is not his name. And my mother's name is, real name is Desiree, and she's called Liz. Her acting name is Elizabeth. So, you know, the name business in my family is just, <laughs> <laughs> there's no logic to it. So. Sigourney, in making Alien, was it as terrifying for you, the actress, as it is for those of us in the audience watching? Um, Ridley is, uh, always seemed to come up with things that would, uh, that would really frighten you, the character, you know, and uh, you, I never seem to run out of things to become afraid about, because after you've been working on the set a long time, the set begins, as soon as you walk into it, you're already emotionally prepared, you know, for something to happen that's, that's frightening, so that I, I didn't find that hard to, um, to uh, keep going, actually. And, and there were often things that really did frighten me, you know, I mean, uh, the special effects were so good, and that you never had to wait for them, and you never saw, you know, that it was actually made of, you know, sticks and stones or something. It, everything really worked and was convincing, so that helped the actors tremendously in, in keeping that illusion going of uh, being terrified. Scorny, this is your first film. Your background is mainly New York stage, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Now, this has to be a fantastic thing for your career, because uh, to come in your first film, uh -huh. in something that is making the impact that Alien will make. But I wonder, were there times when you kind of wished that maybe you could have eased into it with something a little easier uh -huh. and a little different? Well, I must say, when I read the script, I thought, well, this certainly wasn't what I had in mind when I thought of eventually moving into films. I always thought I'd sort of work my way up in small roles, and I played a lot of character parts. I've never played a, a heroine, you know, and uh, and so I I didn't play her that way. I mean, I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't get out my heroine book and go through it or anything. I, it was a different, I had a different idea of what would happen. But um, once I started to do it, it, it's hard for an actor because it's a very technical film and the relationships are not the focus of the movie. The relationships have to be understood and they have to be played, but through the action of the film. That was very challenging. I really had so much to do to think about that I didn't think about, um, you know, about my options. And I felt very at home in the character who I think is, is very different from me. I mean, my reaction in the same situation would, would probably be to make terrible jokes a lot. You know, I, I don't think I would, I wouldn't, uh, Come, come through in the same way that Ripley does. I would uh, probably uh, wise off a lot. Um, Have you ever had a situation in your own life where you were truly frightened nearly to death? Oh, maybe a couple of times. Uh, well, this, as you see, this will give New York a bad name. I, I find New York a very safe place to live. I have been in a couple of situations where I 
where I suddenly was very afraid of being mugged or something like that or of disappearing into a back alley. But I mean, I've never, I've never been afraid of anything that wasn't human, you know? And, and the alien is something you, you well, my, my character doesn't know what it is even. Not, I don't know enough about it to know how to be afraid of it, you know? I don't know really how it works or what motivates it. I can't make any assumptions about it. So it's really the terror of the unknown that to me was the, the way I plugged into it, something that's after you and you, you can't reason with it. And, uh, Sigourney, when you saw the completed picture for the first time, uh -huh. how did you react? Well, that was uh, quite recently, and I've only seen it once. And I was, I, I, I felt the picture was awesome. And I, I have no objectivity about my performance. I thought everyone came off so well. I felt there were seven people there, all very different that you cared about. Um, Did any of it shock you or oh, yes. make you scream or make you hide your yes, face? Yes, 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 absolutely. I mean, um, I wasn't prepared. I hadn't seen some of the things, and the things that I was absolutely there all the time watching were were filmed in such a way, because I'd never seen any of it. I never saw any rushes. So, I mean, to me, the impact, I ha it had a, a great deal of impact on me, just the, all the shocks. Certainly, I was a perfect audience for it, believe it or not, you know. Did you ever at any time think that it went too far with some of the gore and the terrifying elements? No, um, because I know they cut out a lot of gore. Uh, I think there's really only one gory, well, really only one ver upsetting scene in it, truly upsetting scene. Um, and I think even that was handled well, you know. I mean, you can't disguise what happens. That in itself is so awful, you don't really have to embellish it. Um, and as I say, I've only seen it once and I kind of just saw it, you know. It's hard to, I, it was all there, you know. I. Plan to see it again, do you? Oh, yes. I think I'll see it again. Sigourney, thank you for talking with us thank today. Thank you. Very Pleasure nice to be having here. a chance to get to meet you. Yes. I was curious. Oh, okay. right. uh, and where, uh, excuse me, where are you cutting me? I mean, it can be, you know. Wherever you want. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't do this. Okay. Uh, make it wider than that so we can see some of the chair in the background. Sigourney, was Alien as terrifying to make as it is to be out there in the audience watching it? What was your first reaction when you finally saw Alien all put together and you're sitting out there in the audience? What was your first reaction? Were there times when you actually screamed and hid your face and so forth? I think that'll do it. Okay. Yep. It's fascinating to see how these are done. Yeah. Well, we all have.